<laughs> Welcome everybody to Miniature Reenactments, the computer computer version. Uh, with me today are Troy and Cliff. Hello. <laughs> Hi, I just had pizza. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're going to continue the um, Napoleon's battles, the uh, reenactments of these, a uh, history lesson on them. And I just and I just learned about sound mixing, so you're probably going to actually be able to hear us now. We have a <laughs> microphone and everything. <laughs> history. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies before uh, on the other videos. It, it, you heard it throughout for quite a while, but then all of a sudden you'd hear like a lot of loud noises, explosions, and like s us somewhere in the background. Oh. Oh, that's better. But yeah. now you're actually going to be able to hear us, including Troy's loud mouth back there. <laughs> <laughs> if you want an Englishman to see sense, take his money. The Russians continued trading. Do they think I wanted to invade? To march on Moscow? And now, Kutuzov makes a stand at Borodino, some speck on the map. No matter. I will dine in Moscow yet. Okay. All right, so that was uh, Napoleon. Yeah, this is the one with Mel Gibson as as Napoleon. Sweet. <laughs> now, actually, was it true that Napoleon was was actually not as short as they said? Oh, he was five foot two. But that was it, like an average. Yeah, that was average. Everybody was five foot two. Right. Okay. <laughs> you know. Were his hands really Trumpian in size? <laughs> <laughs> Because oh. a tall person was considered tall at five foot seven. <laughs> okay. And uh, so those were. Oh. Just a second. I think Napoleon's about to speak here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I just have to push start battle. September 7th, I understand they delayed the three day war by a week. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. Kutuzov <laughs> finally made his stand on the east bank of the Kolosha River between the new and old Moscow to Smolensk Road just south of Borodino. To fortify the northern section of his right flank, Kutuzov's troops have constructed the Raevsky Redoubt. This stretches down to Semenovskaya village. To the south, he has constructed the three V-shaped Bagration flesh. Taking the Redoubt and Bagration flesh will be the stiffest of challenges. Okay, so Napoleon ended by saying this is the Bagration Front, I think it was? Mm -hmm. Bagration Front. Bagration Front. So is that what you have to break in order to... You have to... Um, the commander here is Prince Pyotr Bagration. He's probably the, literally the best Russian commander in the field at this point. And he's holding these areas where these hills are. And this... In order to take and control Borodino, the, the town of Borodino, you need to be able to get sweep these guys off these hills. Now, this is a, this this is a perfect setup. Now, what Napoleon has had had to do is chase Marshal Kutuzov, Mikhail Kutuzov, the commander, supreme commander of the Russian armed forces. But he's been drawing him into a prepared field. This has been this field has been prepared by the Russians, and to lure them in here where they've got inflating fields of fire, these massive hills, they'll disrupt his cavalry and will make it harder for his infantry to, to, to close on any one spot and destroy them. So they've got the geographic advantage here. This is the perfect defensive position. They also have this river here. That's the Moskva. That's the, the, the Moskva River. And it's a, it's a, it's a, a chain of little rivulets and it breaks it up into like a, a triad and so right. you at any point they have commanding fields of fire everywhere along this line and so the point is what Napoleon's trying to do is take the town the center point Borodino itself cutting off and this what this will do is cut off the two the other the, the two wings of this army. Once he gets the middle, once he gets the center, he can crush the other wings in detail. Okay. Now in this game, apparently they only represent this wing because that this is the edge of the battlefield. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, apparently historically this would be the center then. So we take yeah. this and we want to isolate them. Yeah. 
Okay. So what was going to be? Ooh, wow! You can see they're already starting to hit our artillery there. Yeah, that's a canister burst. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so. Bad, bad news. <laughs> how did uh, Napoleon start this whole thing? We have we're in the sort of the center here. Well, in reality, he has a uh, artillery park of something like two hundred guns. So what he's doing, what he was doing, is trying to blast their guns off those hills. And and while while doing this, he gets frustrated and he sends his heavy cavalry, the Carasiers, to push them off the hill, which was a mistake in a big way, because he lost a lot of time and a lot of men and horses trying to get them off that hill. But by any chance is could this be them or is, were they run by someone named Joachim Murat? Yes, that is uh that is uh jo Joachim Murat is the king of Naples. Okay. And uh, he is the brother-in-law of Napoleon. Okay. He is the, the great cavalry commander. He is an extraordinarily brave man, but also extraordinarily stupid. <laughs> so he's who they sent up against that hill then? Well, he, he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't go up there himself. He sent his heavy cavalry. Oh, right, right, yeah. He had, um, he had some uh, brilliant heavy cavalry commanders. And, uh, but he is, the, he is the, as he calls, he's the cavalry commander. He commands the cavalry reserve, and that's a huge force of almost 10,000 horsemen. Oh, wow, okay. So, yeah, because it doesn't look like 10,000. It's uh, Well, of course, they don't have that. Full year. Oops, I just jumped to the wrong side. All right, so that'll be uh, some of the heavy that we, we send some of these guys to these guys. So, basically, what we want to do is go around and try to hit hit this and then take these hills kind yeah. of in. While in the meantime, I remember you were also saying before we started, we'd also want to shoot with this, or get this artillery yeah. where it can shoot their artillery. Well, you know, you find uh, find a place where your artillery can actually hit, <laughs> hit, hit a target. And uh, since these are uh, 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 field artillery, they're going to be firing in a straight line. So you're going to try to, if it's pointing toward Borodino, you need to blast the, uh, blast the, uh, an opening for your infantry to go to across that forward and get into Borodino. Once they get in, they can dig in, go into the go into the buildings, and this is going to be really difficult. If the if the Russians get inside those buildings, you're going to find them out of the fight the building. You know, so you kind of have to go through the uh, through all of the machinations of the first and the second date, but then once yeah. you get to the third date, you're golden. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that's basically it. All right. So I'm going to pull this uh, artillery over here to bombard this town. And while he does that, a couple quick questions on the setup. You mentioned that this this area the Russians had really set up mm -hmm. specifically for defense. Right. In the game here, you see kind of these berms. Right. The were these molded naturally existing hills, or these were are these were built up? These are naturally existing hills, but they what they don't show you is that the, how dug in these guys were. They they were on hills, but they dug in their artillery and then put up, thrown up field works to uh, to break up the cavalry charges and break up infantry. They put up, and uh, it made it doubly different, difficult because you just look at these hills, these three hills right here, you, these guys can defend each other. Each, anyone that's attacked, the, the other one can defend from the, from the, uh, a position of safety. Now, right behind them, right behind them is an affordable area where you can send in, a, uh, you know, cavalry and infantry to come up to uh, to reinforce. This is a this is a well thought out defensive perimeter, and um, the Russians did a good job. Now, the coming into this, sorry to interrupt, but coming into this, how well known was the area to Napoleon? They didn't know it at all. He didn't know it at all. He, no. and his, he and his commanders didn't know this area at all. So they were making their decisions, on their the tactical spot. decisions on the fly. Yeah. And unfortunately for the Russians, they're fighting Napoleon, who <laughs> happens to be one of the greatest soldiers in human history. That's the problem when you're dealing with an actual Category A military genius. And... Uh, that's what Napoleon is. These guys are good. He's just better. <laughs> so let's see if we can become as good as Napoleon. Uh, how should we go? Because I know we're going to try to get hit here and then go up along there. We have some infantry and some cavalry. 
do we want to hold them back and wait for the artil for our artillery to start firing on them, or do we want to start moving up right away? Well, I would check and see if you, before your artillery, you start shooting your firing artillery, is look at ground level, can the artillery oh, hit the... It's it's moving into position, because yeah. yeah, from ground level, we do not have a view. Yeah, so they're, they're moving into position, and so you're going to have to, well, and also, it's time, it, how much time you have. You have to move... Even but, without the artillery, you have to move those infantrymen up there and try to take those hills from these. All right, so shall we start moving the infantry yeah. then? All righty. Try not to get them uh, flanked here, so I'll move that up there. These guys as well, we'll move them up here. Now I have a couple lines and the cavalry's back here, cause, so that's all of our infantry over there. Mm -hmm. Cavalry will come in soon enough. Now, these mm -hmm. guys over here, to, these you know, guys? the Russians. Go oh, to these the guys, Russian. yeah. This guy, these guys right here. Uh huh. He's gonna he's gonna try to pin these uh, attackers down with fire. The guy on, not this guy. Uh, he's asleep. Uh, well, the guy on the mm -hmm. over to the the right. This group over here. Uh huh. They are there waiting for you to get pinned, and they're gonna move up and try to get on your flank okay. and fire at your flank. And so, at that at that point when they do, I would hit. I would launch my cavalry right at them. Oh, okay. Run. Now all said and done. On a strategic level, wouldn't it have been easier for the Russians to simply, simply hack the the French election system <laughs> <laughs> and had somebody else become, you know, emperor? Well, see, that's the problem. Back in those days, the French, the French data system was so bad, <laughs> and so uh, it was so out of date. It, hacking it wouldn't do you any good. <laughs> So it's it's kind of like our uh, our election system here. Well, kind of like France today. Must <laughs> yeah. not speak ill of the the Gallic nation. <laughs> they might be watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I you have all this cavalry over here, and we were noticing earlier there's a Ford. Yeah, there's a, we're over here somewhere. Yeah, where if there's a Ford, you you need to take the cavalry ah, right there yep. and take them in a wide arc. And come around the flank on the other side of that building. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got to channel Johnny Carson here. When you come across a Ford in the road, <laughs> uh -huh. I'll have him be a pilot so he can crash land really well. <laughs> Wait across. <Yeah. laughs> All right, so they're going to go around. What do we th want to do with this infantry? We want to hold them we, here. Or? We want to. We want to start moving them close to the All close right. to the um, to the Ford. Ford here, but keep them. Protected by the buildings and the full and the trees, so they can't get hit by, you know, you know, stray fire by or, bullets. Yeah, that sort of thing. All righty. Actually, let's do this so they can't get hit on the flank. There, there we go. All right. Well, let's push play on this sucker. Unfortunately, we can't look too far up, but we can see. We should look for. We should, we should look for the Russian cavalry because they. Oh. Okay. The Russians have a lot of cavalry, and. If you if they see your cavalry swing around the flank, they're going to attack. Uh, well, here's their light cavalry, and their command's way back here. Mikhail Kutsov. Airstrike. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So they have light cav there. I don't see any other light cav. I see a church. We've got grenadiers and infantry. And Okay, if, if you can lure their cavalry to attack your infantry, that's a good thing. You can shoot them down. All right. If they come at you head on. You can shoot them down. Although we are way back here, we're sort of at, at the moment going after that uh, Ford. And over here, let's see how this is going to start shaping up because, okay, infantry's moving up there. They are getting hit a couple of times. Oh, I should get that cow that artillery in place. Oh, yeah, it's going to take some time to get the artillery. They're going Actually, to they're already in place. That's the problem. I've, okay. I've been yeah. Shoot, I've yeah. been slow to to come back over here. And there was artillery over here too. I am kind of messing this up. Uh, oh, yes. Bad for the infantry. Oh yeah, you've already lost the cavalry unit. What? Where? Oh dear. Wait, what happened? Oh, they they're, gotten, they're oh, under, they're getting hit. They're under fire by the by the, the artillery. artillery. Yeah. Okay. Here. There. I've met Napoleon, sir, and you. Are <laughs> <laughs> All right, they're gonna go after that hill. You know what? I actually might. Can you make them go fast? Double. Uh, double yes, double three. time. Let's run them. You need to, they need to take that hill now. Okay, so we'll just rush at the, You know what? Let's do this. Take them in the flank. Yeah, let's actually go... They're, okay, these guys are moving to try to stop them, and these guys are coming up. In fact, why don't we just go ahead and charge these guys? Take that them out. 
Oh, here comes their cavalry over here, so yep. we'll bring yes. our cavalry. Let's pause, actually. You're going to need to... Oh, this is a bad position. You. Oh, yeah? Because you're right in line of fire. You need to stop so you can get ready to, to, to stop their cavalry. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Well, let's, let's run forward a little ways here. And... Because then we'll get into squares here in a moment, but we just don't, don't want to. We want to get past where the artillery can hit us. We don't want to get into squares now. Not, not with their infantry right there. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we're charging into them there, and we got this infantry right behind. So we'll run them up. Okay, they're gonna come. Their cavalry is coming around. They're gonna hit the flank. You need to put this cavalry, this infantry unit, right here. Oh, okay. So they can shoot these guys down. All right. Let's get these guys up here. I really should have been... Not, not that far up. You need oh. to get them right about here so they... So oh, okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Just get them up close enough so they can so start they can shooting. So they shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. No, they, they changed. They... Oh, yeah. You see, this it's hard to go. That's sort of impassable right there. And so, so now oh. they're hitting you while you're running. That's the bad thing. Oh, okay. Did you... Oh, well, did, did, we did, did you go to... Uh, you oh. didn't go to Sabre on... Uh, uh, oh, on these guys, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, they they no, were they no, were in okay. saber, so okay, they're good. charging right into them. And we've got this cavalry no. right here. To Send hit them your in the cavalry flank. and attack them. Get in Take there. That group right over there behind them with the, because they're firing guns. All right, go get them. We are heavy, so we can go get them. Get them in there quickly. Run fast. Ah, oh, that artillery is killing us. Yeah, please. But we are charging right into them, and here, just won't. You know what? I just realized that I've been doing this whole battle really badly here. Because these guys need to be oh, set up as well. Oh, words you always want to hear from your general. <laughs> <laughs> well, sir, I've been doing this so badly. <laughs> oh, yeah, what happened to this cap? You know, you did say at the beginning that this was sort of such a big battle. It was, almost, it was sort of too big. Yeah, it's, it's a huge... You know, oh. I think, in fact, Napoleon's... Famous, famous words at, at, at Waterloo were... Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. You know, we actually still have our main cavalry guy ready to go in, so I'm going to send him in there. Just make sure he doesn't run into the hole. Yeah. <laughs> we were talking earlier about the Battle of the Crater. Ah, uh, here. Yeah, get them shooting at these guys. All right. Get, could, could be worse. Oh, could my the, God. Oh, could be worse. Could be God. the Battle of Petersburg. Yeah. <laughs> This is terrible. <laughs> you instill great confidence in me. <laughs> this is terrible. That's kind of, I think, what some of the... Oh, the digital humanity. <laughs> oh, we're in there. Okay, you do need uh, dragoons fighting Russian Karaziers. Oh, okay. Is that bad for us? Yes, it's big bad. <laughs> okay, well, where's our main guys? Here we go. We got these guys coming in. Hurry up, guys. Are these need the you in here. Yes, this is well. This is uh, no. This is the um, our they super heavy. Their, our our cavalry's folded. It's running. All right. Well, we got our main cavalry coming in still. And oh, they're still in there. And over here, let's. Okay, these guys are still on the way. So move back over here. And these guys are running in there. Come on, we got to push through here, guys. Okay, they're they're forming the firing line. Yeah, but we got our our main uh, cavalry coming in. That's the what? That's the one, uh, Joaquin Murat. Yeah, General Marshal Murat. Marshal Murat. Meanwhile, oh yeah, okay, they are firing. Good, and we have our artillery is in the process of firing, taking out their cat artillery here. In fact, let's tell them to go after that one. Okay. All right, now our heavy cavalry has hit them. Has gone into them. Okay, we've caused them to fold. We are, we're knocking through them, General. Yeah, that's good. We almost got there. Show the pieces. All right, into these guys. You did say Crazy. something about. Hmm? Nothing. You did say something about they got chewed to pieces. They eventually made it, but they got yeah, chewed to pieces yeah. along the way. So yes, they did get chewed to pieces. A lot of men and horses got killed in this trying to take these hills. Well, then I am being very historical, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now there you got French Carasiers. Oh, sorry. I was just looking at these. Days. I'll oh, go yes. back there. Here we go. All right. Stop watching that. <laughs> This battle is too big for me! So, so we have French Croisiers? Mm -hmm. You got French Croisiers in this battle, finally. So, Finally. Alright, once we hit them, I'm going to pause it and we can take a look I around here. I think you need to 
You need to pull them back. Oh, okay. Give them, give them a chance to run up and hit these guys. Oh, yeah. They're standing there whacking away at these guys and not doing them any good. All the right. weight of their yeah, you whack job. <laughs> the, the weight of their heavy cavalry will break the line if they hit them hard enough. All right, get out of there. Get out of there. Run away. Run away. Run away. We bravely run away. And you got a you got a grenadier division uh, regiment. You need to use those grenades. Okay, here, hold on. Let's see, where are they? Uh, which ones are they? That one? No. How about the other one? Uh, where are the grenadiers? Speaking of uh, uh, grenadiers, I just wanted to interject. Uh -huh. Did you know that the 1970s uh, era Ford Granada mm -hmm. had nothing to do with grenadiers? No. I was <laughs> devastated when I found that out. I am too. I'm very devastated. Well, this artillery's gone, yeah. and this is one of our grenadier units. Should we just send them up the middle? Because uh, we do. Yeah. Yeah. We have these guys just these sort of are, sitting here. These are line infantry. Yeah, yeah. Now we do have like a Ford here, and then but it'd be straight up. What yeah, do you think? you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to take them up there and as fast as you possibly can. They all can't right. Stop the shoot. All right, we're gonna run them. Run, men, run! We'll just send all of these guys running. Oh, we have more grenadiers. Run, run, run! All right, and so if they die, I'm gonna blame you. I'm gonna just point my finger at you. Huh. All right. Now, Cliff, is, is there any truth to the rumor that Napoleon, Napoleon was once uh, quoted in a French newspaper as saying, "You know, when you're a, when you're an emperor, people will let you do anything. I can just walk up to any soldier <laughs> and grab him by the penis, grab him by the crotch." And kiss him. It was, it's, you know, there has been that rumor. <laughs> oh, jeez. You lost your grenadier from the regiment. Oh, that was a grenadier. Okay, I was trying to click on them, and I couldn't see. Now turn your horsemen back yep. around and attack. Yep, Horse. they are going right now. Get in there. <laughs> Kill him. Kill them. They're almost broken. <laughs> yeah. That's what my girlfriend says all the time. Kill him! Kill him! Oh, uh -oh. Me. I need to respond to her text. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have lost the right guys. Yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just sort of. But these guys are rushing through here. They're going to run up the middle. <laughs> Is a Nebraska I think your, your camera over here has. Has Borodino. You need to push them in there and get Catuzzo. Yeah, and we have these this infantry here. Let's run them across as well. And Jeff sent wave after wave of his own men. <laughs> Fry looks. Where, where's your cavalry? The cavalry is okay, right over here. Get, get them across there and get that get that that unit that's holding the forward and hit them from behind and you can take the, you can take the town. Yes. Thank God those Russian soldiers had each had a kill limit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You suck. You lost a lot of troopers. <laughs> I really have. I I couldn't. You know, it's funny. You were saying about the grenadiers, and you were right. They were there. I just couldn't see them. Oh, uh, who's gonna break first? I think we're, I think they're gonna break first. No, I don't think oh, so. No, maybe not. No, no, not. Uh, line infantry against the cavalry. No, uh, not gonna break. Look, yeah. it's the break Chicago first. Cubs. Oh yeah. Oh, what these guys? Okay, our we have grenadiers back again. You need to, you need to let them rest Florida, a minute. Florida. Yeah, yeah, Florida. <laughs> All right. Well, they will hold our right. <laughs> well, meanwhile, keep them actually keep faster them. than my. Oh, we're, we're getting across the uh, river here. Okay, but the, yeah, but they're right on top of those. How about we charge them up? Where's your cap? Where's your cavalry? Oh, your cavalry? oh, it's over here, Bernardino. They they run into somebody that's got them pinned. What's this? Oh, that's our infantry. They're pointing yeah, the wrong way. Yeah, they are the suckiest sucks that ever okay, sucked. Now you have <laughs> there we right go. There. Hit that, hit that infantry unit. Uh, that Russian right. infantry unit, right there. We're right there. There we go. I can't even find them. It's all this fog, sir. That was a quote from uh, Patton's less <laughs> less known speech. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right, we're gonna charge these guys right up here. Take that. No, no, no. no? no, no okay. No, what are we no, gonna no, do with you them? Need to, you need to consolidate. You need to get oh. your cavalry. And oh well, the cavalry's over here. This oh, is like oh, this, that's a different group. This is oh. different. This is the center guys. These are corn huskers. I'm calling them yeah. because they, uh, you know, charge right up the center. So what do you think? Should we just shoot at them from where or charge in them? Shoot them up so you can get rid of those grenadiers because you don't want to run into those grenadiers coming up a hill because they will tear you to pieces. Alrighty. Well, actually, we'll just I do never this wanted then. to take my old Ford Granada up a hill. Love <laughs> 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 well, them over here, and then we'll get the others up to them. 
actually. These guys, we need to run. Everybody needs to run. There's no slacking. No, no marching. All right, then, meanwhile, we've lost the right where Napoleon actually made his attack, so this is no longer a uh, reenactment exactly. This is just kind of... A disaster us. unfolding. Yeah, this is more like... <laughs> I never said I was Napoleon. Let's call one side RNC and the other side DNC. <laughs> okay, let me guess. I'm the RNC. All right. Yes, oh, you're, hey. you're, you're being led by a rather small-handed... <laughs> I, I have big hands. That's not all I have. It's big. I assure you. Also, my feet. I have big feet. Oh, hey, cool. We have all our guys back. I'm going to actually move them forward purely so they don't get hit by artillery. Okay, you need to get them shooting at these guys up on this hill. All righty. They're going. They're on their way. But turn, and you're... Hmm? Huh? Oh, you're running the next battle. Uh-oh, these guys are getting killed. Okay. Jeez. Here they come. Another group. You need to stop right there. Okay. Because these oh. guys are coming and, and give shoot them a silly shoot. You know what? We need to send Napoleon up there. Napoleon, you go share your fate with your man. Hey, wait. Shoot. Shoot at them. <laughs> All right. Screw this. this you know what? not going to be good. <laughs> They're going to... They're going to go charge over. They're going to go fight them. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, we got stuff going on over here. He lost the he lost the infantry unit. Oh yeah, that's somebody's true. come out of those hill. Yeah, they that's, there's those the buildings. cavalry though. They're in that building. Oh no, actually no. Oh yes, they are. Oh, we can go take him in the building then. Take it in the building. Yeah. All right, and then we got this. Our cavalry is gonna go smack their cavalry around because that's worked so well so far. All right, we actually took out the infantry that was here. Yeah. Took them out to dinner. Reinforcing as fast as humanly possible. Had our way with them. All right. Ooh, and we are taking Borodino. All right. So it's now a cavalry fight there against yeah, the river. To take Borodino, you actually need infantry. <laughs> you can't hold it with cavalry. That's what she said, and she was wrong. <laughs> uh oh, we just lost some infantry there. Yep. All right. You know what? Screw this. I'm charging into them. I'm charging into these guys. I just don't think get that this, we can. That sounds this, like a like this, a good strategy, get this, sir. <laughs> use those grenadiers to throw grenades at them. All right. These guys. Grenades. Okay, here we go. Grenades into them. Come on, throw your grenades. Oh, boy. Okay, guard the rear. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, throw your grenades already. Jesus, what are you just staring at them? Problem is we're getting attacked from three sides. Yeah, I know. You've got canister shot above them. All right, you know what? It's with you throwing the grenades. Now go. Oh, now they got them. Go now kill them. Woohoo! That's good. Oh, and Napoleon's here. That now everybody feels much better. Yeah, but there's there are people shooting at him. Yeah, right I know. There. I'm getting I'm getting them out of the way here, so I'm gonna build everyone's morale. Because <laughs> of course, being here just so makes everybody happy. You know, the guy who got in this whole, into all this trouble. All right, get stay, man. He's sharing their fate. Exactly. Let's see what's happening over here. Ooh, we're taking the, the building. Yep. We're killing the cavalry. Yep. Things are actually going. I'm, I'm doing good on the left side. <laughs> Everything's coming up, Bill House. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, those guys. Where are our guys on the other side? Do we have anybody over here? There we go. What the heck? We have other forces I didn't even have in the battle. <laughs> it's, our, it's, it's, it's our reserves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They finally That's, come up. Exactly. We finally commit our... Okay, so they're going to come up here, and then we're going to have them and them take that hill already. So wait, 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 wait. You've actually made progress while having, like, <laughs> one arm tied behind your back? Apparently. So, yeah, here's what happened. Over here on this right so, side... So, what have we learned here is that <laughs> Napoleon was really a pussy. Yeah, exactly. Here's Oh, and while well, meanwhile losing some troops, there are these two guys back here. While these guys were all going out there and getting killed, these guys were sitting back eating cupcakes. And now they're going to go up here, you know, with full tummies and well, fight. What, what they've done is they've made the Russians commit their forces. Oh. And so now you've got fresh troops to hit them while they're tired. You make me sound so much better than I actually am. <laughs> I need you as my uh, uh, my um, excuse man. <laughs> in the, in the hip-hop world, it's called a hype man. <laughs> <laughs> I got my hype man. 
Oh, and their commander's right back there. We might take their commander out. Oh, you take him, oh. you take him one of their buildings. Oh, look at this. We've got cavalry and nothing between them and their no, commander. Go and get Kutuzov. Kill him. Yeah. Hello, Mr. McGoose-Batuzov. You thought you were winning the battle, didn't you? All right. <laughs> taco, taco, burrito. And we took the building. We keep, we don't even need the building because we just killed everybody in it. So now we're going to go out here and join our other guys who ran up the middle, the Cornhuskers. Well, I would get Kutuzov. Without his, oh, brain, yeah. without his brain commanding the forces, you might have a chance to break the, roll them up. Oh, yeah. He, he's definitely going up. I mean, the cavalry is definitely going after him. In fact, make sure they're running. Yep. Better believe that's a spanking. <laughs> <laughs> that's a spanking. And if you can get behind, if you can, if you can hold this area right here, mm -hmm. you can take your forces and come up behind these guys and pin them from two sides. Which is no army can fight in two different directions at the same time. I've kind of noticed that with these guys. Well, Napoleon will hold it because, after all, he's the emperor. Yeah, exactly. After all, he's the one who got us into this mess, so he can do it. Uh, let's Actually, see. the two-headed army of Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> two directions at once. Yes, and I believe in Zebo Box. Don't blame me. I voted for Zebo Box. All right. <laughs> Sweet meteor of death, twenty sixteen. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm gonna have this this artillery shoot over here. All righty. Let's keep on going. We are definitely making them scared because we have our general and they have not. I have one general and you have none. Yeah, but you're losing people. Yeah, I am. He's now, he's it was about at this time that the second Ice Age came. Yeah. <laughs> Fight to the last man! If you only had a Piper Cub. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to bring the heavy cavalry around this way. Oh, here we go. He'll fight the, the no, light. They're coming here to their cavalry. That's all right. They're, our light cavalry is going to take out their general, and their, our heavy cavalry will take out their light cavalry. And then you can go after their artillery if you can get the hell of the cavalry gone. Oh, where's our... Hey, what happened to our... Oh, wait, yeah, here we go. Oh, they won't leave the building. No, you don't want to go in the building. <laughs> I know, I want to get out. Get out of that building! Oh know. my god! <laughs> These chocolate chip cookies are awesome. <laughs> Aren't they incredible? That's why they're not leaving the building. <laughs> like, they're, we have chocolate chip... Ooh, cookies. We're hitting... Oh, shoot. We hit their light cavalry, but we were coming out of that ford. That mm -hmm. was not good. What the heck? Our light cavalry is getting beaten by their general? Yep. Yeah, I'm just telling you. I'm checking out and eating these cookies. I Well, I don't blame you, but why are we getting beaten by their general? We got hit by artillery first. Oh, good grief. And we lost it. Mm -hmm. We're losing here, too. You should never have broken up your forces. <laughs> You're right. Why did I do that? <laughs> God, that, what a rookie move. Man, what stupid idiot. Allowed that. All right, I'm bringing Napoleon over here. It's going to be mono and mono. Oh, oh, we now want it. We want it. Him. We want it. Take him. And, take and Napoleon is coming over too. And it's going to be. Their general is dead. Their general is dead. All right, Napoleon, stay where you are then. Halt. Now, all right, we don't need. You don't need to even be, be there anymore. Uh, oh, boy. But now they have their infantry coming up here, and we're going to die from them. So I'm going to bring him over here. Get out of there, cavalry. Oh, boy. Where's Napoleon now? Okay, yeah, he's... Ah, uh, they broke. Uh oh Oh, boy, we're kind of getting trapped here. This is going to become uh, like Custer's last stand real quick. We're getting the Emperor out of there. Uh, I don't know if we can. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. <laughs> there we go. There's a Ford right here. In mm -hmm. fact, actually, here's what I'm going to do. Everybody, across the Ford! Get into Borodino! Run! All right. They're, they're in... Go There's a lot of dead guys on that. <laughs> I'm, I've noticed! <laughs> Uh, you're supposed to be shooting over there. I don't know if you're actually doing anything, guys. Uh, at least shoot at their rears there. All right, these guys are still marching because they were so far in reserve. Well, you know, we're fighting this kind of like McClellan, where it's like, okay, we'll fight over here, then we'll fight over there, then, you know, and giving them the ability to defend. For those of you listening who may not know, McClellan was a jackass of a general <laughs> for the Union during the American Civil War. And yes, I am comparing myself to him. Unfavorably. <laughs> yeah. Accurately. <Not> <laughs> <laughs> Unfavorably, but accurately. That is true. I have pretty well. And so I'm going to teach you all history by showing you how not to fight this battle. <laughs> now that I've shown you how not to fight it. <laughs> oh, here. Well, we're going to defend this town. This was my plan all along. Defend this this building. Let you see, they're going to come out of there, and we're going to shoot at them from that building. So it's going to be like this. Haha. -ha. Come out of there. 
My dearest Napoli, you suck. <laughs> Josephine. Aww. Josephine knows just how to talk to me. <laughs> She's a dominatrix, you know. Of course, he wasn't married to Josephine during this battle. He was married to uh, Marie Louise. Oh, you ruin everything. <laughs> you and your facts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bet you vote Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Uh oh. Oh, wait. No, it's somebody else. Okay. All right. We're shooting at them from the building. Uh, we're supposed to be. Why are you? They're just... aiming to shoot at Napoleon now. Because he's standing right there. Yeah, let's see if we can hide him. Oops. There we go. You see, we're gonna just get right behind that building. Great. This is not a good idea. You're, you're, no. All right. You're changing world history here, Jeff. You need to go follow the follow the retreating soldiers and get a, get out of the way. <laughs> get out of the way, Napoleon. Key Anything. key word in there? Retreating. Yeah. Get out, Napoleon. Get out. You can escape. You can live. Live, Napoleon. Live. Yes, lose another day. <laughs> Oh, you know one of my favorite quotes by McClellan? I didn't lose. I merely failed to win. He actually said that. And that's what's going to yeah. be my quote. <laughs> I don't know if it was in the lexicon at the time, but he was the progenitor of douche. <laughs> he really was. <laughs> George McClellan, <laughs> progenitor of douche. All these guys are just kind of standing out there. Let's see, do they have guns to shoot anymore? No. I no. bet. You know, South Park is... Oh, here we go. God damn it, Butters. <laughs> God damn it, Napoleon. I bet, I bet Lincoln was always like, God damn it, McClellan. <laughs> yeah, he probably was. He was yeah. probably doing the classic McCard facepalm well before McCard ever did it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're running by here. We're going to... Well, you see, here, here was my grand strategy all along. You remember how I said this battle was too big for me? Mm -hmm. I've shrunk it down. Yeah. And now... <laughs> This battle. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. How did you know my nickname for that? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Turn oh, whoops. Turn and let them shoot them. Yep. Come on. Shoot, 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 guys. Everybody shoot. Turn and shoot. You know what? Ah, ha, ha. Ha, ha. We've taken them. Okay, now you get the hill. Take the hill. Yep. Take the hill and you start shooting at that. Actually, you know. Hey, oh wait, no, these guys. We want these guys to run this way, away from the cannons. Don't go straight if at the cannons. Oh, yeah, because you don't want to get under there where they start where they using those great shot. Yeah, we're gonna shoot at their flank over here, and then these other guys are gonna run in behind their asses. I knew somebody one time that that used to think that grape shot was really grapes. <laughs> nice. They were flavorful. Uh, but then when, when Google they, they, came they, along, they, I looked it up and realized I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you weren't mistaken by the whole idea of a pineapple grenade was a pineapple. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. <laughs> Why is it called where's, pineapple where's then? <laughs> you know what? I used to think I was wrong. Then I found out I was just mistaken. Yeah. <laughs> All right, shoot them cannons. Yep. All right, shooting them. Yeah, shoot these guys coming down. Come on, shoot at them. Shoot. And then these guys are going to switch to this, and they're, they're going to start throwing the grenades at them. These guys are going to run up here. Oh, I just had a brilliant idea for a steampunk novel. Oh, yeah? Uh? Yeah. The, uh, uh, the South, the Confederate, in a last-ditch e effort to win the Civil War, bring Dr. Frankenstein over from Europe along with the cadaver of Napoleon to try and reanimate Napoleon as their general. But they are. Yeah. That's steampunk. It uh -huh. writes itself. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody, into there. And we the love angle. Reanimated zombie Napoleon falls in love with Mrs. Lincoln. Mary Todd Lincoln. I like it. I like it a lot. Look, yeah. we're actually killing them. Yeah. We're killing us some Ruskies. The Ruskies I don't are think good they were Ruskies. They were, they were, they were, they were uh, 
Russian soldiers are really good at defensive battle. Well, now these guys are called lifeguard foot. Now, do they go run down to the ocean and save people who are being eaten by sharks? Those are the best soldiers in the Russian army. Oh, are, they are? The lifeguards. <laughs> Why do they call them lifeguards? It's because you guard the life of the emperor. Oh, uh, uh-oh. Oh, oh my God! I'm telling you, these are the best. These are the best trained troops. Oh, that was not good then. Throw everything you have at them. Yeah. All right. Oh boy. And then we throw some more. Uh. Well, we're trying. What have we got here? Oh, launch still the cows. <laughs> exactly. Oh, okay. Napoleon's coming over as quick as possible. Speaking of cows. Oh boy. I think we're gonna lose this, guys. Yeah, you are. Uh, this is okay. So welcome everybody to not uh, re miniature reenactment, seeing as this is not exactly a reenactment, but rather uh, a disaster, me just, a disaster a of epic proportion. trying to play Napoleon, trying to be Napoleon, but not exactly showing. But you, you, you got a sense of you know. Uh, I think um, I think Cliff, you've actually given us a lot of information about oh what the battle God, was. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing! I <laughs> cannot believe France lost a battle. <laughs> 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 when they won all the battles. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, how is historically inaccurate is that? <laughs> uh oh. Um, uh oh. They're sad. We're running away. And we're running, we're running, we're running. Oh, and here comes Napoleon. Here. No, you need to stop him now. Here, actually, let's, let's try to like rally our men. <laughs> men, you cannot run because I am Napoleon. You know what? I'm going to send these cannoneers at, at the lifeguard. You know, that'll be <laughs> <laughs> Run! Wait! I need you to feel important. Oh my god, look at all those dead men. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this... You know, I really like the idea that I don't have as good a resolution on my computer. I don't have to see that. <laughs> like, no, the red, if I get right on top of it, I can see the body, but if I pull back and look at it from a strategic it. point of view, I don't get to see all of them. <laughs> hey, I rallied them! <laughs> the dead bodies. <laughs> hey, he, he ran over them and rallied them. All right, we're Napoleon and these guys. He must have the highest. I don't know what how they measure that, but that ability to morale morale is been up. Well, he said, must be the best in the game. I would. Oh well, yeah. You know, he, he said it. Said him just being on the field was worth forty thousand men. Just him being there. That makes sense. And you know, these are not even his. You know, in his last years when he was in when he was uh, when, when the Allies invaded France. He he fought five battles in five days. It was some of the old Napoleon magic. He just beat the crap out of five different armies. By the way, I'd like to point out that my um, cannoneers are actually helping because they're making the the, the they're Russians turn, turn their turning, flank. Yeah, they're turning the flank. Run, men, get over there while he still has a flank. And they're running out of men. Whereas are the French? Because you don't have, you have only. Two regiments left, and they're both weak. Yep. Well, and one one of the regiments is inside that building. All right, Napoleon, yep, get, get on their baby. flank and run at them. Charge at them from the flank. Go, baby, go! All right, Napoleon's going in there. He's going to finish this battle. Oh, he's leading. Did you see that? He's like running right in front of him. <laughs> Cutting on the pieces, boy. <sighs> You know, nice. Piece, what's that? What's that uh, inspirational speech from Lord of the Rings? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> they, they, to they, ruin. Yes, yes. Napoleon made them run away. Look at how uh, triumphant I am. Ha ha. <sighs> All right, <laughs> along with the cannoneers. Who's the big man now, Vinny? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is paraplegic boxing at its best. <laughs> 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 you know, Try that, yeah. somewhere in Les Invalides, <laughs> the Emperor is climbing out of his tomb. <laughs> <laughs> and saying, never let Jeff MacArthur play me. <laughs> How in the world? <laughs> wait, wait. He killed the Emperor! <laughs> what? Oh, oh, I thought you, oh, wait, he did die! Yes! Oh, no, he's just running away. I don't know how the heck and how, how that happened though. I didn't see anybody shooting at him. See, he's still he's there. He's only got four men. It always happens when you only got four men. He's yes, but that's him. Oh, really? 
Oh, okay, well, he's one of them, at least. So, at least he's uh, on the same team that brought you John Wick <laughs> comes <laughs> Keanu Reeves <laughs> as Napoleon. <laughs> this is just true. when I thought I was out, they pulled me back. <laughs> <sighs> All right, let's move it, guys. Am I the only one that's got like just this? I, I have to go see. I have to go see John Wick too. <laughs> I love that first movie. I know it was total kitsch. Oh, was that? Or you liked it? I, I never saw it. I love John Wick. Right? Oh, really? I mean, dude, di dying wife in her last gives him a puppy dog. Gives him, gives him a puppy dog so he won't be lonely because she knows that he'll just be that lonely guy, right? Uh-huh. Leaves him a puppy, and some badass Russians come along, kill his puppy. Oh steals my god! His, steals his car. Steals his muscle car, his classic muscle car. And I like the, uh, the guy, uh, John Leguizamo, was gonna, gonna uh, redo the car, he said, where'd you get this car? By the way, real quick, yeah. this is the, 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 oh my god! It's the, it, these are the cannoneers, mm -hmm. are making, they're chasing them away! Who, 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 these look like Jaegers, what kind of troops? The, these are cannon, this no, is the, the cannon crew. guys running away. Oh, uh... And just rush uh, grenadiers. <laughs> they chased away <laughs> the elites. <laughs> oh, okay, here you just had to figure yeah, out. Yeah, but you still got all that Russian army over there. We're gonna do it. Hey, 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 hey! One impossible task at a time, please. <laughs> Without our leader even here, Napoleon oh, running. Got, what thirty-two guys? <laughs> Something like Maybe that. Meanwhile, there's some French guy watching this going, but of course, even our bakers. <laughs> oh, with twenty thousand men on the battlefield. This is the worst battle I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I bet uh, John Wick could take him. <laughs> you, oh my God! <laughs> We're gonna do it. We're on to the last hill. This is the last big hill. I mean, there's the town beyond, but this is the main hill where we gotta go. <laughs> there's, there's the last big hill, but there's a town beyond with the rest of the Russian army. <laughs> yeah, with our, oh, sh oh, we ran it's away! It's over! <laughs> oh, but actually, we, oh, you know what? I still have this. You got oh. one cannon, yeah. <laughs> Wait, I still have some day old bread. Take that! <laughs> and they're shooting really quickly. It's all like on yeah, fast motion right they're now. They're fighting for their lives. Yeah, right? at this point, pretty much. Damn. Oh, man. They can't Damn. hit anything. Wait a minute. You still have all of those guys. Yeah. You have to try and. Okay, he's just got those guys oh, yeah. right there. Them but see, then, then you got the guys way over there. Yeah, you, well, we have them in the in building. The town. Yeah, and we had these. Okay, right here. No, pop, no, pop, 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 no pop. they've taken the building. Yeah, there's no, there are more troops. There are no troops left. Right, exactly. Okay. So that's so, it. So going on the obvious conclusion that that you lost. <laughs> oh. Let's pause it. And let's do a breakdown of where it all went. Wrong. <laughs> okay, well, where, where do you want to look okay, first? So this is the big map here. From what I saw, uh huh, it really took a bad turn when you clicked start. <laughs> <laughs> think, yeah, I'd say well, there's this yeah, over here on the moment. right flank, and we had over on the left flank, and then we could have gone around the center, but it was really where we clicked start. <laughs> that was it. Well, that's Bordino. I hope this was educational for y'all. Okay. Before we go back and report <laughs> to to you know the powers that be, the financiers, let's make sure we got our story straight. Yeah, dinosaurs. <laughs> dinosaurs were on the battlefield. Hey, dinosaurs man. on the battlefield. Then was, they were reinforced by aliens. I was gonna go or <laughs> aliens on the History Channel. Yeah. I was just gonna go with hey, we were winning when I left. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, so uh, well, there was one freaking there was an Austrian there. general that that actually happened to. Oh, he yeah. was fighting Napoleon at the Battle of Marengo, and Napoleon was being beaten. And he said, "Well, we've got them. I'm going to go retire, have dinner, and you guys keep dying." And <laughs> Napoleon was there, and then reinforcements showed up, and Napoleon says. We've lost one battle, but we've had, but we still got daylight. We can win the second one. And he turned the uh, battle around at Marengo and destroyed the Austrians at that battle. Wow! And the poor General Milos was going, "What do you mean we lost? Yeah, we were winning." <laughs> but I was winning when we left. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, anyway, so it, you just you get an idea of how the real battle was. We basically attacked yeah, from the right. If the if the if the Russians won, <laughs> <laughs> went around these hills. K basically rolled up their flank here, while meanwhile hitting the town. We actually did some of that, but just uh, we uh, you know you had you, you had an incumbent general running it. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe to see more of this nonsense. Uh, we're gonna have a couple more on this um, Napoleon uh, series. Happy gaming, everybody. Sweet, my little pearls. <laughs> <laughs>